So here's where it starts. We've ordered and received our uh, two-port CAN bus bridge. We're gonna, it was made for another application. That's kind of obvious. We're gonna take it out. Uh, we're gonna put some plugs on it and cut some stuff off of it and make it work for our Nissan Leaf. This is what it looks like out of the package. Um, Here's a programming port right there. We're going to solder some leads onto that so we can connect it up to a programmer. Uh, they give you this piece of shrink wrap. When you're all done, you can put this over to uh, give your bridge a little bit of protection. Okay, <clears throat> I've got the uh, wires cut away from the original setup. Um, the two red wires are going to go to, uh, and the black wires are both going to go to a uh, plug just for the power. That's going to be two plus 12 volts. Uh, this is what's going to, I'm going to put a plug on here. It just makes it easier. Uh, these are the CAN wires, the CAN high, CAN low one and, and two. Um, I think these are called DuPont jumpers. I'm not sure. Somebody can correct me. Um, but I'm going to cut off this end and uh, strip these and use these uh, in the programming port. And I'm going to hook the, the other ends. We'll plug right into the programming port. I've stripped all the wires on this end. Um, I usually just do it by sight, but I measured to give you a reference. It's about five millimeters. This is in preparation to uh, put pins on. This is a special pair of pliers for putting these pins on for your connectors. Uh, you'll have to develop a skill to, uh, to get this right. Once you crimp the pins you're going to put them inside the connector they'll snap <coughs> our power connector is complete uh, this is the standard that I'm using these are Waldem plugs they are uh, pretty available they're a quality plug for my power connector club I made that the female end and I use Waldem plugs and those were females now I'm going to put on the uh, uh, can wires and that's going to be a male plug. Uh, the plugs are 0 .093, both the females and the males. All of my can bus leads uh, have crimps on them. I'm going to uh, twist the pairs together that need to be twisted and put them in the uh, correct parts of the plastic case. Okay, I've twisted the green and purple, and I have inserted them. Okay, my plugs are complete. Now I'm going to work on the uh, programming port. I've prepared these wires for uh, tinning with solder. I'm going to uh, tin them before I put them in the holes on the board and solder them in. Four of the five holes are used. This is all soldered in. I'm going to trim the ends of these and this is ready for programming. This is a diagram of the connections. And over here, these are plugged in and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna take this into the house and uh, connect up a 12 volt battery connect up my computer and uh, go ahead and program it. Created a folder just for my uh, two port CAN bus stuff. I have the bridge flasher EXE in there and I also have the CAN bridge dot SREC in there. Uh, we're going to need those. Um, I've already loaded the uh, application for uh, the, the chip programming uh, and that's actually going to work underneath those. Um, uh, it looks like Dahl has made it easy for us with the bridge flasher. I'm kind of guessing it's almost like a, a bat file or something like that where uh, it goes in and, need, and does what needs to be done. 
<clears throat> all right you're gonna you're gonna use this uh, to locate the link that you need and that's going to be in the stuff that you downloaded for the programmer um, and this is what it is right here you'll find this you'll cut and paste it uh, you're going to do the same thing with this except for you're going to download that from um, the dollars github page and then well if you <clears throat> I put it in my folder and I just uh, cut and pasted it and the link to it in here and you do it the same way you go here go here and uh, it's right here so you're gonna have to do something like that you're gonna have to do some setting up that's gonna take a little bit of work all right I'm ready to flash I might as well do this while I got the Camera rolling. Let's see what happens. Boom. Success. Uh, that's what it should look like when you're done. At this stage, I'm done with the uh, programmer and uh, the connectors to the uh, CAN bus bridge. I'll go out and work on the car now. I'll put uh, the opposite type of plugs uh, on the car and get it ready to plug in. I'll leave the wires on the programming port. You could cut those off since you're done, uh, but they'll be available in case there ever needs to be an update.